we'll see how to draw a given a single line diagram for a given statement. Draw a single line diagram of a generating station having the following data. Incoming lines of 11 kilo volt, 2 in number. The single bus bar, 11 kilo volt. Outgoing feeder of 6.6 .6 kilo volt, 2 in number. The step down transformer of 5 MVA, 11 bar 6.6 .6 kilo volt, 2 in number. Show the position of the CT, PT, isolating switches, lightning arresters and the circuit breaker. So once the problem is given, the first step what you need to do is for a given problem statement, draw a rough single line diagram. That is a rough sketch. Later, you can do it using AutoCAD. So first thing is, we need two incoming lines of 11 kV. Incoming lines of 11 kV is, the incoming line will be always using an isolator, CT, circuit breaker and isolator set. So I use insert command here, insert, click on browse, then it moves, this is, inside this folder, these are the circuit components which is already there. We just need to drag and drop into the screen for drawing the given single line diagram. I take the first one that is isolator CTCD isolator set, select it, drag and drop it on the screen. Once it is dropped here, now since if the diagram is bigger, then to accommodate it will be difficult. So what we do is we have a command called as scale which you can either scale it down or scale it up. So now I use a command scale here and I scale down this component. Scale here, specify the base point. Next, by what factor? I want to scale it by 0.5. So once I have this one, then depending upon what is asked in the problem statement, I make multiple copies if required and keep it ready on the screen and this, then just place it on the, uh, place it when completing the diagram. So here I have two incoming lines and two outgoing feeders. So totally I need four. I have already taken it and placed it here. I need to step down the incoming voltage from 11 to 6.6 .6 kV which means I need a transformer that is a two winding transformer that is why I have placed two transformers here. This is the potential transformer which I need. I will show you all where do we place it and how it goes about. So to start with I have first as the two incoming lines. So I use move command, use move, select the object, specify the base point. So this is the base for me. I place it on the screen here. Similarly, I get another incoming line. two incoming lines here. Next, once I have the incoming line, the incoming line is of 11 kV. So it is told that we need a single bus bar. So next what we do is a bus bar. For that I draw a bus bar using a rectangle here. This constitutes the 11 kilovolt bus bar. So it's a bus bar. 
So I use a solid hatch here. Use solid hatch. Click on OK. Once that is done, next is I have two outgoing lines. Two outgoing lines that is whenever we take a connection from the bus bar that should be giving to a bus bar or taking from a bus bar it should be through an isolated CB CT isolator set. So I use move command and just move this component there. Similarly, place the other one also. Next, place even this PT also. It's just as a measuring device. Next, I have an outgoing feeder. So, the outgoing feeder should be of 6.6 .6 kilo volt. So, I need to step down the voltage. So, here, similarly place the other one also. Next, outgoing feeder. This transformer, it is stepped down from 11 to 6.6. .6. From 6.6, .6, we have two outgoing feeder. So, use a line command and just show the feeder. Let us draw a straight line here. Next, the feeder is shown using an arrow. So I have the done using a polyline command. I've done the arrow. Just move it now. copy of that and paste it. Like this we have done with the two outgoing lines. It's 11 kilo volt bus bar to incoming line. So your incoming line also should be shown with an arrow. So here use poly line. Before that the incoming line we will show.
next I use a polyline command here. Specify the start point with W. Starting with I take around 4, ending with the 0. So now use copy command and this we will place it using the move command now. This is how we draw the given single line diagram for the given problem statement. So here using the multi line text, just show one. I write it as incoming line. multi-line text. So just write incoming line. Eleven kilovolts. So this is how we write each of the that is you anote each of the component that is done in the single line diagram. Incoming line, eleven kilovolt, two in number. Here you need to write isolator, CT, circuit breaker, isolator, bus bar. 11 kilovolt. This is the PT here. The transformer. The transformer, what rating is given in the problem statement that has to be written here. 5 MVA, 11 kilovolt star, bar 6.6 kilovolt star, outgoing feeder 6.6 kilovolt. So all these things has to be written in the once the single line diagram is drawn. Annotation is very important. That has to be done with the multi line text. So, in the similar way, do it for each of the components. Go through it. If any difficulty in drawing this one, do let me know. I will explain it once again. Thank you for listening. Happy learning.